Justin, thanks. And coming up, from a day that changed the landscape of Hawaii to ever, forever to a day that changed this nation forever. I'm Paul Drews, live at the Mighty Mall. The sun's about to set on a special day and a special ceremony that began in New York and ends here. For the first time, a September 11th service is being held at Pearl Harbor. The site of one attack that launched a war now forever linked to that fateful day 11 years ago. KITV4's Paul Drews joins us live from the USS Missouri, where a service has just begun. Paul? Well, right here in front of the big guns here on the USS Missouri, that service is being held to remember those who died during the attacks at 9-11 during 9-11 and also those who are continuing to die today from that event. Along with the first responders who lost their lives on September 11th, 2001, many others suffered health problems from working at Ground Zero for months. Yesterday, the government announced rescue workers would be covered for their exposure to cancer-causing toxins. But Vincent Forrest, okay. a volunteer okay. New York firefighter during the attack, founded the Gear Up Foundation to make sure those rescue workers who are continuing to give their lives are honored like the heroes who died on 9-11. Unfortunately, many of the guys have gotten sick. We're losing four guys a week are dying who work down at Ground Zero right now to this day. And uh, our foundation reaches out to the world to try to bring the world together because of 9-11 in donating equipment and training in tribute and memory to everyone we lost at Ground Zero. Now Forrest brought with him a flag that flew over Ground Zero in New York this morning at sunrise and it will fly over Pearl Harbor at sunset. On that flag are not only the names of those who died during the attacks at 9-11 or during 9-11 but also the names of everyone, all the rescue workers who have died since that time and he says and that's a flag that will constantly need to be updated. We'll have more on the ceremony. It's taking place right now at the USS Missouri on our news tonight at 10. Reporting live from the Mighty Mo, Paul Drews, KITV4 News. All right, thank you, Paul.